So we've got a question here from Banny. Uh, I have a team site and a communication site uh, for the client uh, or client site. I'm having difficulty displaying any of my team site info. So most up to date policies, guidance books, best practices, et cetera, on my communication site. I try to use web part documents, highlight content, et cetera. But when I go to edit the web part, I cannot locate any of the info pertaining to my team site. Does anyone know why? I guess my question really is, if I have a team site, which we have items we would like to share on our communication site, can that be done without having it uploaded to the communication site? I would like it to just do auto update as we update the team site. And he apologizes if that sounds confusing. <laughs> but he thinks it's in advance, so. <laughs> it's not confusing, it makes sense. Um, it's a common scenario, it's a very yeah. common scenario, right? And that web part does exactly what he intends. Uh, it, it opens up a window, if you will, to that other site. And in that other site, you have uh, uh, the option to, or with, through the web part, is what I should say, through the web part, you have the ability to, to locate a particular site that you have access to. I think the keyword there is access, or a particular document library. Like it's, it's very configurable. And a lot of it can be GUI driven. So you're just clicking through an interface that's well designed. Um, I, I don't use it that often, but I've used it before. And I know there's a, a more uh, advanced way of doing it besides a click configuration. And that's through like a custom query, you know, like HAML or, or KQL. Definitely possible. But if you're not seeing your sites, maybe you don't have access. What do you think, Sherry? Yeah, I, I think it's 100% per either permissions issue and also um, the question I would ask is, should people actually have access to the active documents that are on the team site? Because when I build a documentation strategy, you have where you build the things, where you make the things and maintain the things, and then the communication sites where the published version of those are. People shouldn't be able to find things if, if they're not completed, published, and so... Um, a, should they have access? B, do they have access? And you know that needs to be incorporated into their documentation strategy. That's Very my true. <laughs> it's, it's you know we're getting into the the document management document life cycle uh, aspect of it and yeah and retention policy. Yes, should you do it? I guess it depends on your scenario. But if it's like what Sherry describes, you may not want to surface your policies in a editable form. I go back to my HR days, um, you know, my recovering HR days, <laughs> not being a recover a HR professional anymore, but I would have policies and procedures that were stored and, and they evolve after they've been released, published, ratified, whatever. And things change usually based on a legal incident and you have to republish them. People should not be able to find the working copy of that policy. Only well, the current published version of the policy. So within and, the communication site, though, I mean, so it, could it be the configuration of the web part so that it's only showing those things which show as the state, the life cycle as published and other labels and things. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be triggered by just, just the way that, 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 that web, the web part's configured. Yeah. And back in the, um, you know, classic days, we were able to publish documents and um, create copies of them, basically child copies around different SharePoint sites, but they took that away in modern. I don't know that we have that ability anymore, but that was a great way because you have your primary one and you, when you um, shared it to another location, it would say, oh, if you update, it's like, do you want to update the babies? And you say, yes, and it would update mm -hmm. the babies. That was kind of a nice thing to have. But I think with Power Automate, we could probably accomplish the same thing now but it just takes a little bit more than it wasn't an out-of-the-box functionality um i anymore. think you bring up an interesting point about the classic sharepoint and, and maybe we're trying to connect into a, a non-modern site through the web part mm. oh ooh, that's and, a good and maybe point the, the documentation therein is not the the modern versions of you know excel word powerpoint and so on maybe it's the dot doc file not the doc doc x file right that type of a modern file type maybe that's something and mm -hmm. those are things that you'd want to check you, you you're you're eliminating variables at this point but the yeah. web part does work i've seen it i've used it i know it works 
Yeah. It's, it's like the old web query web part, right? Where you could say in this scope, this type of document, this metadata, display these or view. Is that what you're talking about? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So it depends. Don't you love the answer when it's always <laughs> <laughs> it depends? Not what they want. Should, to we just, should we just make sure we work that into every response? It's like, well, <laughs> exactly. you know, it depends. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Very good. Cool. So Norm, 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 can you read what's on the sticky? No, you can't because it's a secure view. Yeah. I have a view of it. You do not. Yeah. There, there we go. I just based on rules. Yeah, based on rules. There you go. Based on based roles. on my hand blocking it. 